Good day guys, this is Richard from Richard's Corner. Thanks for visiting and this is another haul reveal that I have here. Items found from my friends at the Value Village here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Don't mind the distracting little uh, suction cup ball there with the lights. Um, that we'll be getting to this package soon enough. But I thought I would start off with this very recognizable yellow guy on the right and work our way through our haul today. So if anyone is a fan out there of Disney's Monsters Inc. You will instantly recognize one of the CDA detection agents and this is actually a six inch figure um, that was uh, that I found at the Valley Village and it actually still talks if you listen to it. Okay so I'm just gonna put my my microphone closer to the the speaker here and you can hear some of the sound effects. So isn't that just, that's classic. I mean, like, I, I can't believe that this was just sitting there in, in a donation, like do, being donated away. So only got this for $1.99 uh, before any discounts. It's in really good shape, uh, really true to the um, Monsters, Inc. Um, cartoon um, movie, pardon me. Um, still has its uh, vacuum cleaning um, nozzle here. Uh, let's see if I can put the handle back in his hand there. Um, very, very little articulation in this, uh, just in his arm there, and obviously the snap action of his um, his backpack, which also uh, uh, triggers the sound underneath. Uh, so very cool find for $1.99. I looked on eBay to see what someone would have to pay if I was looking for this on my own outside of a thrift store. Uh, somebody has it listed for $17 US. It's like, wow. <laughs> so, uh, oh, look, there's a battery cover here. So I could actually replace the batteries and probably rejuvenate this toy. So really, really super happy to find uh, any kind of Disney character. But I mean, this is just totally unique. Uh, it still works and is a very good find for my collection. So uh, this second package here... Um, was very unusual. Um, some of seemed really straightforward seeing that Iron Man, I'm a big fan of the Avengers, but this guy was very unusual. And um, I didn't know how obscure it was until I started looking into it. So let me pull him out. Ooh, there we go. Let's see if I can get him to stand though. Oh my goodness. So I'm ha having a little bit of trouble getting them to stand here, but uh, let's start off with the obscure. Um, too bad that the, the, the nails here are, are broken off here. Uh, obviously well loved by the previous owner before donating it. Look at the ripples on the back here. What a crazy art, like detailed figure. Now, this is not a typical figure. Uh, and actually, when I did some research, it's actually from a TV show called Gor Gormiti. Now, Gormiti is actually an Italian uh, animated, animated feature. Now, it was picked up by... According to the wiki here, it was picked up by the Cartoon Network way back in 2009. It was dubbed over in, in, um, uh, in English, obviously. Um, but it's a, it's a show that follows two brothers, apparently, Nick and Toby, who discover they have the power to transform into powerful creatures known as Gor Gormides. And they've got two friends, Jessica and Lucas, who join the fight, and together they harness the power of four elements um, to save the world and many others from destruction. I'm not entirely sure if this particular figure is actually the monster form of one of those characters. I could not find the specific character's like um, name within the wiki, uh, but I did see it on an eBay listing. Believe it or not, um, the Gromiti cartoon Lavion, that's what the, it's named, uh, is um, a character that's worth about 1619 uh, euro on eBay. Uh, I couldn't even find this character on Canada, eBay, or Amazon. Like, that's how obscure this is, which makes it a super, super good find for me. Uh, I'm really excited to find, like, weird things like this. I mean, yeah, I kind of I kind of makes sense, like, not to, like, want to keep this necessarily once you've outgrown it, but as an action figure collector for myself, something obscure like this is actually super, super cool for me. But, I mean, look look at the detail in him. Like, that is crazy. Love the uh, the claws and the bright colors, the muscle definition and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't stand very well, unfortunately. It does have a little bit of trouble um, being posed. So I would have to try to uh, maybe mount his... Mounting his feet isn't a problem, but, I mean, just trying to get him upright so that you can see him is a little difficult to do. 
Um, so it has been well loved. It it has it is it, it is an action figure after all. So if somebody has played with it, um, there we go. So but as a display piece, look at that. Just menacing, menacing guy. Uh, so really happy to find it. Now on the less obscure, we have a nice six inch basic action figure from Hasbro, Iron Man, one of the more recognizable. Uh, figureheads from the Avengers movies uh, as well as the comic books. Uh, this one's kind of neat because it, it looks like it's got a like a nice repulsor action. Um, it does make him look a little bit like he's doing yoga when he bends over and, and, and does his repulsor blast but kind of neat even just as a standalone figure um, he is a little static and he's a very top heavy. He's actually leaning quite a lot to the front. Oh there we go. Okay so leaning a little bit but he does stand decently. There we go. So a uh, six inch figure, uh, quite, quite, quite tall, um, nicely detailed, plainly um, colored though, not, nothing like overly metallic, very plastic kind of uh, look to him, uh, but still nonetheless, a really, really nice figure. Like the detail is half decent here. Um, We've got some, again, we've got, we've got a lot of ratchet action here. By squeezing the legs, it makes him turn. So it does limit the, the poses that uh, this figure can be in. But uh, by itself, really nice. Um, still not really sought after on eBay or anything like that. You could find this brand new in package for about $8 from Hasbro. So not a bad find. Considering I paid a whole, what, $3 for the two figures, I think uh, a European-only figure as well as a Hasbro figure that would normally be about $8, Finding those for three bucks, pretty good deal. Now this final package has quite a variety of cool stuff in it. Uh, something that resembles a Power Ranger, but actually isn't. Uh, an another one of those obscure guys. Um, and a few Sing figures and a nice Gundam here. Let's uh, cut away and do a few, a little bit of a uh, rip open here and we'll, we'll, we'll get everything out. So we have everything laid out here. Um, this little uh, terrier here, nicely detailed. Uh, it's not something I usually uh, seek out whenever I'm collecting, but uh, I have some boys here that enjoy animal figures, so I'm sure they will enjoy that. Uh, this little suction cup ball <laughs> novelty, but probably not a keeper for me. Uh, it probably sticks on the wall pretty well, but it's not really a collectible for me. Something like this is actually kind of a nice Playmobil. I probably will donate this back just because uh, everyone here is a little too old for these kinds of toys. As cute as it is, it, it doesn't suit my own collection, so I am going to donate that back so that uh, somebody else has a chance to pick that up. But the keepers here are, are right in front of me, so let's start with the more obvious one. This is Aksu from the Pokemon series. It's actually a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Uh, he's got a little bit of head action with the, the lever in the back here, uh, so he says no the whole time. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so nicely detailed, minimalistic lines here, nothing too super detailed about Pokemon in general. So mi replicating them as toys uh, is, is just, it's a no-brainer for, for a line like McDonald's. But I love, I love the color, it's really nice and bright, um, but it's a really just good depiction of Aksu as a, as a character in toy form. So uh, these two are, are also Happy Meal toys from the movie Sing. I've actually reviewed uh, this particular um, character here, Johnny from, uh, from the Sing movie, uh, played by uh, Taryn Egerton, who's also uh, kind of a, an action hero uh, being part of the Kingsman, the younger, ver uh, younger member of the Kingsman, who surprised the directors that he could actually sing. Uh, so he is the gorilla here. But this, um, this sheep is actually played by John C. Riley. Uh, it's a really, you know, very recognizable voice, uh, very suave here character here. Uh, kind of a keeper. I already have a Johnny, so I'll probably redonate that. But I mean, I will keep the sheep as I build up my Sing collection here. So I'm pretty happy to find those. Now going to this particular character. Now this Gundam, uh, it's a shame that it's missing an arm because if you just take a, a second to take this in, like look at this wonderful, wonderful figure. I can't place like look at that like even the jets like on the bottom of the boot like just an amazing figure. the the art the, the 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 joints are really well done this is not uh, a sloucher's figure like this is a really really high quality plastic figure it has a little bit of weight to him 
just missing his arm, which is way too bad. But I mean, look at the beautiful, like it is a great depiction of Gundam. Now I could not find this particular figure um, on any listing uh, because there's just way too many high quality figures to sort through. If you happen to know, this is an all plastic figure. I would say it's about four inches tall. If you happen to know what line this is and a little bit more information about it, please leave me a comment because this is just an awesome keeper. Um, even in its matte finish, this is just, it's beautiful to look at. Like I, I, I love, I love the way it is. It's almost a little disproportionate. The, the head is a little small, the feet are really big. Um, so it, it's, it's kind of an unusual, you know, um, line of, of Gundam toys, but like, wow, like this is, this is amazing. Uh, if you've ever seen a Gundam movie, um, the, the, the space battles are incredibly intense uh, and just large scale battles. Like the, they don't, the Japanese animation series does not hold back any punches as far as the realities of, of warfare and, uh, and incorporating these um, uh, people controlled mechs uh, just takes it to a new, new level, right? So it's a really, a really, really cool find. But again, if you can place this series, this specific figure, please leave me a comment because I would love to know more about it. But I'm so happy I found that. That's just not easy to find. Now this guy suspiciously look like a kind of um, almost a Power Ranger kind of deal. Look at the muscles on this guy. Very nicely detailed. Uh, the pterodactyl symbol on the front sort of gives it away as it being not a Power Ranger. Uh, and I've never seen like gauntlets like this or anything like that. So it is a, very, a little obscure. And believe it or not, I actually had a lot of trouble finding any information about this. And after I looked on my computer for a little while, there's actually a series called Ninja Hero of the Dark. Uh, it's a Chapmay Dino Power. It's a really obscure cartoon. Uh, I have no idea what it is. But I was looking on eBay to try to find this particular figure. It's only available again in, in, this, in the U UK. Um, there's one listing for a similar Ninja Fighter uh, Hero of the Dark action figure with a skateboard. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's like an alternate version of this with a different paint scheme. Uh, that set is going for like $24, $25 Canadian, um, not including shipping from Europe. Uh, so this is actually quite a cool keeper as far as it's not necessarily sought after because it's obscure, but for a collector like myself, like that's just a really cool find. Look at the detail. Like the gauntlets are just alone are really nice and shiny and are really, really, really beautifully detailed. Um, the boots here, none of this like comes out. Uh, he doesn't, he didn't come with any accessories, which is okay, but like really that's, that's an awesome ninja figure. So a little bit obscure. But I mean, that's what Thrifty Finds are all about for me. So this is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for this video. I hope you enjoyed this reveal. I am really, really excited again to, to find some of these guys. I mean, it's kind of neat to find all these North American uh, toys that are fairly common. But finding these really obscure, like imported kind of kind of figures. I mean, like, where did these people get them that they and then donated them? It's like, wow, like it's it's okay you know if you outgrow these things and you donate them because it supports the value village or your thrift store or whatever and somebody else finds them i mean that's that's all good but i mean like i can't believe that these are so weird and they're not common here in, in canada so i'm really really super happy and you know you can never really go wrong with animated characters like from sing so this is this is a pretty good haul overall so again, it is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off. I wish you happy hunting, happy collecting, and I hope that all of your thrifty finds have been equally awesome. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos, and we will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.